Hello my beautiful viewers, how is everybody doing? I hope very well. I am still here in the farm enjoying my little trip. It's so beautiful, it was raining yesterday, so everything smells so fresh. Well, today I want to discuss with you the misconception about the ketogenic diet. I really don't see the ketogenic diet as a high fat diet because since I don't count my calories, I don't focus on calories. If you look at my food, you're going to see that mainly it is leafy greens. And I have difficulty reaching sometimes my 100 grams. I'm right now at 100 grams and I can sustain ketosis uh, if I work out that day. So um, I'm having difficulties reaching 100 grams of uh, leafy greens uh, in, uh, in, in, in carbs. So I have to ingest 30 cups of leafy greens to get to only nine, 900 calories. Let me tell you. 900 calories 30 cups of leafy greens are 900 calories and it's only 90 grams of carbs imagine so i have to ingest probably 32 cups before i get to my 100 grams sometimes i have to eat little berries because they are high in sugar or i have to ingest like zucchini and stuff which is higher than leafy greens in calories so it's really a high vegetable diet if you think about it it's not a high fat diet. The humans have never counted calories. We didn't even know what calories were for the whole existence of humanity. Only in the few hundred years, we are now concerned about calories. Calories are actually good for you. Fats are winners. They have nine grams, nine uh, calories per gram. So you get a lot more energy from fats. If you really count how much fat I ingest, I have one pound of Amish butter, it's so delicious. I am eating this like every day because it's so delicious. We don't have it in Los Angeles. So this is one pound. It has 11 grams of fat per tablespoon. Think, I put two tablespoons in the morning in my coffee. They taste like milk when you blend them in the coffee. I drink decaf, I don't drink caffeine. And I sometimes do the uh, mate or sometimes I do the matcha tea. So add two tablespoons, that's 22 grams of fat. That's already 200 calories. It's really, you can reach those calories pretty fast. You don't have to think high fat. And then I put one tablespoon in my butter. That's 300 calories. And the e evening or afternoon, I have like a little fish, chicken, how, like I said in my other video. And I put one tablespoon in it. And then it's really go, I can reach a thousand calories super fast. And it's not a lot of volume. It's a small volume. My leafy greens are a lot. I, like I said, 30 cups is 900 calories. So, and only 90 grams of carbs. So if you think about it, it's really unfair to call it high fat, low carb, because it's high leafy green vegetables, low fat in volume, which is what matters. Volume, I think, matters most because the less food you put in your stomach and the more fiber, your digestive system is a lot cleaner. So you lubricate your intestines with butter <laughs> and you put those tons of leafy greens because we were grazers. Humanity, I think we were vegetarian, ve vegan when, when we were like, I don't know, before, the, uh, before, before we became bipedal. And then slowly we integrated meats because the land was barren and there was, there was those ice ages and things like that and it was harder to find um, greens and, and vegetation, you know? That's, I think, the evolution of humanity, if you believe in evolution. So we perform better on lots of greens. I feel when I reach my, my uh, 100 grams of leafy greens, I feel so good that day. My digestive system is working perfect. You don't have to have constipation. You don't have to if you really, really focus on leafy greens. And always try to add lettuce because leafy greens are very, very high in nutrition. You want to water them down with lettuce. So I always put some lettuce in it. So that's, that's all what I wanted to say today. It's a misconception. It's not a high fat diet by volume. 
it's a high leafy green diet high carb actually so we can get a thousand if you are advanced in the ketogenic diet I'm almost in 11 months of the ketogenic diet I'm at 100 grams a day of carbs and I'm still able to sustain ketosis and I go to the gym when I go to the gym I definitely eat a lot of greens because I can keep that high carb you know amount so that's all I wanted to say to you don't be afraid it's not a high fat diet it's a high fat a high calorie from fat diet so I really think it's an injustice to call it a high fat diet because the fact that we ingest is very small compared to the amount of greens that's pretty much all what I wanted to say today. I hope this has helped you and removed a little of scareness that you have. A lot of people are so scared. Oh, I don't know if I can ingest that much fat. It's not really a lot of fat. Butter is so delicious. It makes everything amazingly delicious, you know? And eggs are delicious and avocado and little olives here and there. It's, you can reach your amount of fat really, really fast. You don't have to make an extraordinary effort. What you have to do is make an extraordinary effort to get those leafy greens in you which is a lot so mainly I'll, I'll cook them in the morning put them inside the omelet because when they're cooked they shrink down so that's pretty much it I hope this video has helped you remove all those misconceptions about the ketogenic diet and the high fat um, uh, labeling of the diet I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope to see you soon take care bye